everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if this is your first time coming here, my name is Tamara. I have a five and a half month old son named Caius. Um, I also have a son that's three years old right now. And I just, I guess let's start off with what happened with him. Um, when he was a baby, he had torticollis, which is like the tightening of your neck muscles. And you'll either favor your like your left or your right side when you lay. And for him, he was favoring his left side. So um, if you look at pictures like when he was a baby, like I didn't know any better, but his head was always like sideways like this when he was laying and sleeping. And yeah, he would never lay on both sides when he was sleeping or just sitting in like, you know, a bouncer or anything. So what happened was his pediatrician referred him to um, see if he needed um, a dock band, star band, baby helmet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so we did because he, his head was starting to get flat on one side. And so he had his for a few months and then he was good to go. Um, and now for my second son, I was trying so hard for him not to have the same problem. And yeah, he didn't have the same problem. He didn't have torticollis, but he did lay on his, um, I guess his head, the back of his head too much. Like he always did like, instead of sleeping on the left or right side, he always would sleep right on the back of his head. And then sometimes he would um, sleep on the other, like one of his sides. I forgot which one, like I just said. <laughs> now he's in that stage of, he actually like rolls over a lot. And he prefers to sleep completely on his side or on his stomach now. So I was like, oh yay, good. So maybe his head will start rounding out. But I had already made the appointment. So I just kept it because... Um, we're on a time crunch here because <laughs> we're moving and I wanted to get it, um, the treatment done before we move. Yeah, so we went today to see uh, if he qualified for it, which I we figured he probably would. Um, but I was like kind of surprised. Um, so, my, so my first son, his was called, I think, plagio selfily, which is like, yeah, one side of the head is flat. But this, uh, my, my baby now, he has brachia selfily, which means um, it's just the back is flat across the board. Like, there's no differences. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, he just favors laying on the back of his head all the time when he's laying down. And then the other thing was, I think it's from um, when he does decide to pick a side, you know, he's, he prefers his left side. Um, now his ears are not even. Like most people, their ears aren't even. Like mine, my right ear is up higher than my left ear. But in my son's case, his like his left ear is up f five millimeters more than his right ear. I think that's what it says. Yeah, five millimeters. So. He's going to get the helmet, and that's going to correct his ears and um, the back of his head. And for the back of your head, I think they said you're supposed to be between your, the range of um, your, the, your circumference. I don't know. It's supposed to be at 80 to 85%. And if it's above 85%, no, it's supposed to be, I think, 85 to 90, uh, 85 to 90%. And if it's above the 90% is when, um, you, you need the helmet. And my husband, or my husband, my son's head ended up being 96%, which I was, like, shocked about. Um, I think my first son, I think his was only at, like, 92 or so, so... He was, like, borderline, like, they said, like, if I didn't want to get the helmet for my first son, I didn't have to. But I just wanted to do it. Peace of mind. 
because I didn't want him to end up like it didn't work, like it didn't like correct itself and he ends up with a lopsided head for the rest of his life. So, yes, so we went and did that and it's really simple process. Um, you can like Google how it's done, but they had like this little machine and you lay your son in it, or well, my, they lay my son in it and they, oh, and they put like a stocking cap on his head and they put him in there and then this little like laser goes across his body and maps out his whole head and then they um then on the computer is like a 3d image of his head and then it does whatever and shows you uh the different angles and tells them what needs to be fixed and then so then they give you this printout let me yeah, they have my son's name spelled wrong on here, but there's no, like, personal information on here. But, as you can see, this is his head. This is, this is the back of his head. See, it's like, goes straight across, almost. And it's supposed to, you know, come around. And then, on here, they don't show his ears, but if it, you know... If his ears were on here, yeah, one would be above that line and one would be below the line. And then, um, since I've done this before, I already know, when I go back, they'll do the same printout again, except there'll be a blue line and it'll show, like, the change from this line, from the red line. And, um, so that'll be interesting, but, so since they got his, the image of his head... They send it off to the, like, manufacturers of the helmet, and they make the mold for the head, or for the, for the head, for the helmet to put on his head. And we'll get it in exactly two weeks, and I think last time they came in sooner, but I still waited and went to pick up with my scheduled time. And, um, for, like, the first few days, you, um, only wear it for a certain amount of hours, and then you take a break, and then you put it back on for a certain amount of hours, and then you take a break. And, um, so, yeah, I already know the drill. And I think I'll make an, an, another video of when he gets the, like, the day he gets it. I'll make a video and show you guys what it looks like on him. But in the meantime, um, I'll probably post links in the, in the info section and um or the description box and in like info cards or whatever um links to the process when my son had his helmet and actually i will go get his helmet because we we saved it I mean, he's three now but we still kept it and you could uh see what it looks like okay so this was my son's helmet when he was a baby um, this one, I forgot what they call this. It was like cobalt something. I think it kind of looks purple on the picture, but it's like a gray and black print. And this time I just got my son a, um, like a baby blue color. Solid color. But, I mean, it's really simple. It's like a foam in the inside. And as his head moves, they'll, um, shave it down in the parts that it needs to be. So since my son, it was this side of his head that was the flat side. You can, I don't know if you can see that there's like a line of like where they shaved it out bigger than this side because they needed this side to be bigger. And then they have Velcro strap right here. And they'll teach you how to take it on and off and how to clean it. And just to prepare yourself, you're going to need to buy some um, rubbing alcohol to clean out the inside you can't use any like soaps and stuff because it will stink because your baby will um he will sweat in this especially if your baby has it in the summertime um my son my first son he didn't have his in the summer he had it in the springtime and it was still really sweaty especially um the first month he had it because you know their body's adjusting their heat and, you know, a lot of the heat comes from the top of your head. I think that's why they put a hole in the top. But I've seen some dock bands that uh, did not have a hole in the top. They had them 
Where was their holes? I think they had it like back. I don't remember where it was, but they didn't. They don't. All of them don't look like this. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think since my son's ears are gonna be are uneven, I think the ear holes are gonna probably be different too. But we'll see. You won't know what it's gonna look like till uh, you get there, and I show you. But for now, that's all I got for you guys. See, I'll show you. He's actually he's sleeping right here in the pack and play. So I'll show you like what he how he sleeps now, and you can see the back of his head and how flat it is. Okay, so that's my thing. He's sleeping. But yeah, see how flat his head is. This is his preferred new way of sleeping if he's not sleeping on his stomach. But yeah, it's pretty flat. And it'll soon be not flat anymore. So we're excited about that. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see updates on my son's head. <laughs> And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.